first, my very first practice in Jacksonville, I realized how fast the, the O linemen were and how strong they were. I'm like, yo, these dudes are fast. And I think I realized I could play in this in this league. I think my first preseason game, I want to say I had about five tackles. Um, and I was like, oh, I could play in this league. We could play any and every defense. You know, it's not like, you know, we can't sit here and say, okay, we can't play man, so we have to play zone. We could play man. Sometimes we'll play man like three straight plays, four straight plays, because we know we got shut down corners. Um, and, our, and our secondary is excellent. And our oh, pass rushes, you know, rushing coverage work hand in hand. So, you know, you got Akeeb and Chris and, and Roby covering, but then you got Vaughn rushing off the edge. So the, the ball has to come out quick. Um, you know, it, 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 we just have so much freedom, man. We could, we could play any defense and still be successful. You know, once Vance kind of came in and we, I saw the passion that he had, the, you know, he just, he just earned our trust, I guess, quickly with the passion, um, his work ethic, his confidence. Uh, you know, I love Vance as a coach, man. He, he's, he's a player's coach, but he's very confident, extremely passionate, um, and he just wants to win football games. And he understands the players. He understands our bodies, man. And I, I think he's going to be a great head coach. The thing about Gronk is, I mean, I mean, his catch radius is, is enormous. So I think what you have to do is you have to really body him, you know, uh, going against him with my own personal experience. <laughs> you know, I probably took more, I probably took, uh, 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 you know, uh, some more losses than wins as far as playing against Gronk, but I mean, you have to be physical against him. You have to, because if you're not, he will body you, he will push off, and, and Brady will get him the ball. Who needs to do all of those things this weekend, specifically for the Titans? Who's this gonna fall on? Yeah, I mean, you know, watching the, the wild card game, you know, I saw uh, uh, Jayon Brown, um, you know, from the Titans linebacker. He was on Kelsey a lot. Um, you know, he was out there covering Kelsey, and, and, and it, it, it was some issues with covering him before he got hurt, but, um, you know, uh, I'm looking for Jayon, I'm looking for Jayon Brown to, uh, you know, uh, come and, and cut, cover Gronk. Obviously, he'll have help. I'm sure he'll have a safety over the top. And, you know, those safeties will help with the by yard and those guys. So, um, you know, it'll be a, a tough task for them. But if they can get it done, man, uh, uh, they got a chance. Brandon Marshall, how do you make sure that they don't beat you without opening the door too wide for Drew Brees? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, th those guys are special. You know, one of the best duos in the NFL. Um, you know, I, I imagine that the Vikings will – you know, uh, bring a safety down the box. You know, um, you have to stop the run. You know, um, we played against Ingram last year in 2016, and uh, you know the guy's a strong runner. He's powerful, um, and and Kamara is the is the is the switch up guy. You know, I feel like he's he's very athletic. Um, you know, I think he's a do it all guy, and he, but he, he also can run between the tackles. So um, it's going to be a tough test uh, for the Vikings. But um, you know, if anybody can do it, that defense can. And you have to know that you know they're going to load up the box. Yeah. You know, Blake Bortles had 87 yards passing last week. Uh, so they're going to load up the box. They Say that again. 87 <laughs> yards passing. And 88 yards rushing, That's right? Crazy. He had more on the ground. Absolutely. Like Vic. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, man, they're going to load up the box. And, you know, I mean, Blake's going to have to throw the ball. You know, and, and he, he can't turn the ball over. He can't throw interceptions. Um, you know, he has to do what he has to do, like you said, play action, right? They have to be able to run the ball, play action. He has to, to, to get chunk yards and... And if he has to scramble, man, to go ahead and scramble. But those guys knew that we play a lot of man coverage. So what they did was they motioned the backs out, Freeman and Coleman, they motioned them out. And you see right here, they motioned Coleman out to number three. And as a backer, I would never think that, you know, he's going vertical. I'm thinking, that, okay, he's going to run the option route, which he did. He, he, he uh, went off my leverage. Good I defense. covered it. It's all good. Now, the next time they came out, I'm yeah. thinking, okay, option route again. He might go outside, inside, but he actually went vertical. And so I had a, uh -oh. <laughs> and this is really embarrassing Help. for me. It's embarrassing. Uh, he scored a touchdown, and I was, and I was very upset about the play, as you can see. But you know, that's 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 just great game planning. You know, they have great backs that could do it all. Man, they could run, they can catch. Um, and and I didn't know Coleman ran a four three. You know, at the, after that play, <laughs> I went to the sideline. I'm like, yo, this dude is fast. And Chris Harris says, yo, he runs four three. I'm like, well, how come I didn't know about it? Uh, so, well, my X factor actually is Vince Williams from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. Um, you know, no Ryan Shazier, so this guy got to step up big time if they want to make a run to the Super Bowl. I mean, he's a playmaker, he's a thumper, he hits hard, and, you know, Jacksonville going to try to pound him, and they're going to try to run the ball. They had 230 yards rushing last time, so uh, I'm looking for Vince Williams to have a big day. Well, you know, cool. I think there was a stat out there that said we had more Super Bowl appearances than losing seasons um, as an organization. It's incredible. And that's incredible. Um, you know, I knew that it was a great organization, um, you know, because when I first got to Denver, I was on practice squad. And they treated me like I was on the team. You know, uh, just how the culture treated me. Uh, you know, they let me on the sideline. Denver treated me 
it, it treats everybody. And I tell every, every, every rookie or every young guy that comes in, I'm saying, I say this, look, this organization will give you an opportunity. If you work hard, eventually you'll get a chance to show that you can play. And it just it holds true. I mean, Trevor Simeon, seventh-round pick. They don't care. They don't care, man. If you can play, you will get an opportunity.